she's up here uh, sitting with me in the chair. The wind is howling out there. My walls are shaking. Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. Boar slept with Mazaya. It's about 10, 10 to 6. We're on our way back from our walk. And it was windy. Another one bites the dust. We lost a big limb off one of our trees. It's blocking our driveway. Luckily, it didn't knock out our power or internet or hit anybody or hit our cars. But it'd be hard to see now. But when we come back out later, the road is all full of little sticks but and a lot of the county are without power ours flickered off and on a few times but it stayed on thank goodness i did put water in the tub though and you know made sure the dishes were washed for the most part and all the kids had lights to put in their rooms if the power went out what are you looking at What's going on? Is there a cat in there maybe? Come on, Violet. Anyways, yeah, the limb that fell off is the tree that Timothy's always coming up and down. You'll see it much better later, but our compost is tipped over. That was probably from the wind though. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it, but when I come out later, when the kids catch the bus, you'll see it. But geez, I mean, the big chunk, well, you can't see, the big chunk of the tree, but yeah, it was blowing and blowing and blowing last night. The walls were shaking. Uh, you could feel a draft in the house, even though everything was shut up, but... Good morning, shop light. Oh, okay, we're back. We're back. There's Violet. There's my coffee. It's about five after six. We got up, I don't know, quarter after five or something. Went for a nice walk. The wind finally died down. I seem to be going most of the night. But, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um... A lot of a lot of places don't have power. This wasn't a hurricane or anything, but jeepers. It was going like... Uh, I don't know how fast the wind was going, but it seemed to be going super fast. So I feel for any birds and stuff. I hope Timothy's okay. And, yeah, any animals, really. That would be quite terrifying. Really being out in the woods and the wind just going like that. Jeepers. It's 719 again. It looks right bright, doesn't it? Mish. Look how blue the sky looks. <laughs> it's not that color at all. But, yeah, the tree's over there. We'll go see it after. But, um, I just brought out some compost. And we're just waiting on the bus. <laughs> Funny. All right, children, I love you so much. One more day, and then it's Christmas break. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Have a good day. Merry, merry, you filthy animals. What? <laughs> oh. is going right to the back. Devin's not coming again. I'll wave with my finger. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's picking up better on my phone than I thought it would. See, it's a big piece of this one. We'll look at it again when I come out with the big kids. But, yeah, this is the branch that would hang over Violet and Boris, and Timothy would be up there throwing stuff down at them. It didn't hit my old car. Thank goodness it didn't hit the power line, you know what I mean, or the internet line. But, yeah, peeled right off like a banana. I had no idea. Uh, let me come over this way. 
But we got a wood splitter and a chainsaw, so we'll get it sorted. I've got to go around this bush. We'll look at it. I didn't realize. Oh, no, it didn't peel off. It peeled off right there. Up there is where it fell off. <sighs> yeah. Another one bites the dust. Jeez. All right. I'm just coming out. I just fed the birds and everyone. Good squirrel. Good little squirrel down over there. And like Timothy's branch is gone. So you can see it now. Now you can't stop I know we can't. Horse got lots of sticks to play with now, huh? I'll get some good pictures of it, but yeah, it's not like the giant one that fell before or the one down back. Yeah, tear that apart, Boris. You can do it. But didn't quite reach my car. Oh, is Timothy right there? Oh, I see him on the trunk there. Yeah. There he is. That must have been scary for them last night. Didn't even know. That was unhealthy, but I mean, you can see it now. But the wind was super powerful, really. Yeah. I mean, my husband, look, that's like hollow in there. I bet you that was one of his hidey holes. I don't see any peanuts in it. What are you doing, sweetheart? You're okay. I'm so glad you're okay. I was worried. I was. He fully runs over and he's just like. Yeah. He's coming to say good morning. I so finally took that tarp out of the package. Wow. I'm not going to undo it, but we can sit on that. <sighs> there. Thank you. No? Oh, look, he's down there. I hear Randall. Violet sees him, but those sticks and stuff are in the way. Oh, he's got a peanut. Yeah, that big tree branch is gone. Oh, dang it. Look Randall, don't go anywhere. Look at him, he's right up there. Oh yeah. You're gonna jump? Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you clever boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's right. I thought he was gonna come. So I'm not gonna say anything. He came right over. Oh. Oh, I'm sure he knows we won't hurt him, but he's just in his nature to be a little wary. Hi, bud. He's up there, squeaking. All right, have a good day at school, children. One more day. Love ya. Oh, I gotta get pictures. Oh, Boris. Timothy's right up there. There he is. Oh. All right, I need to get some pictures of this. I swear to goodness, if you guys trip me, You'll be in so much trouble, Boris. Alright guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. I'm sorry. 
I got a hold of Leon's, like the furniture place. My dishwasher is in the valley, but they're not going to be able to deliver it till the 27th. So I'm going to check with my husband when he gets done if he's able to pick it up for me. <laughs> Today's the 19th. And they could bring up the 27th. There is a truck coming down here tomorrow, though, but it's too late to put it on that truck. I said, well, I'll book the 27th. If we can come get it, I'll call you guys ahead of time. But if by chance you're able to get that on that truck tomorrow, I will be here all day tomorrow. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, they just called back and I think they are bringing it tomorrow. We're stop number five. Uh, one of the other ladies from Leon's called. It's the finance person that I'm doing a payment plan through. And she was like, yeah, it's coming tomorrow. I'm like, oh, are you sure it's coming tomorrow? Because when I talked to Joan, she wasn't sure. She was like, yeah, it looks like it's coming tomorrow. You're stop number five. I said, oh, it's going to be a magical Christmas with a new dishwasher. And she just laughed. So um, I got the fire going. It was pretty much out. So I shoveled the stove out earlier uh, so I could start fresh with some fire starter dad gives us, you know, flyers and stuff and kindling. Got it going. I'm finishing up that V.C. Andrews book. Um, uh, yeah, and I think that I'll stop there for now and then I'll read that, uh, Shelly Lawrenston one, but yeah, that's good. If they can bring it, that makes things so much better. Oh, it's cozy in my kitchen. My husband's outside now. Uh, he's got the chainsaw. I can hear it chopping up that tree. I'm not going out, Violet. He'll chop it up in pieces so we can get it out of the driveway. He's just fiddling around with it. Much of the squirrels are watching from the treetops. All right, I was about to go for a walk with the dogs. And then, I, oh, I had them on. Oh, they just flew away. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna scare all those birds away. <laughs> all right, I'm back. My husband got home too. He brought me a coffee, which I think I'm gonna drink now. He also picked up three pizzas from Ricardo's Pizza. They have their uh, like December sale. They do this every Christmas time. Large pizzas are $15. He came back with three pizzas. I planned on doing chicken strips and fries tonight, but not tonight, baby. We got some pizza and the kids will be excited. I'm going to go sit outside with my coffee now. I just fed the birds and Violet and Boris are out there and it's a good day. All right, we've been out here. My husband's with me watching Timothy and all the birds. And here comes the bus. I drank my coffee too. And sat on my tarp. The kids like to watch Violet and Boris. Out there. Yeah. Or that little girl. How was school, sugar daddy? <laughs> How was school? I missed ya. Timothy's here to see you too. He's right around here. Hey, bud, how was school? Yeah, he was excited to see you. What's that? Yeah, he'll come in. He'll he was sitting right here on this log this morning, and you know that sock that you left outside? No. He brought it up there. I think he's going to make a nest with it. He must like your stinky feet. He wants to get the peanuts before the blue jays come. Yeah. The what? Oh, Dad cut it up. Where? It's just over where Violet and Boris are. Watch out for uh, Violet and Boris. I don't want them to trip you. What's for supper? Oh, I homemade homemade stuff. What are the, it smells on the <laughs> Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Another Day. I was just editing this video. I've lost half my footage. 
I don't know what happened, but after the kids got home, they had that pizza and stuff. And I, I just got out of the shower. That's why my cheeks are all red and my hair is all scraggle. But I'm going to put an ending on it now because, um, yeah, today, this was two days ago, I think. I'm starting to catch up, but um, I just don't want to have too many squish videos, so I keep track of what days are what. Anyways, um, yeah, that I'm glad that tree didn't hit anybody or anything. And I don't think Randall, or not Randall, Timothy lived in that tree. That was just a tree he f frequented a lot when he was watching us while we were outside. So that's too bad that it's gone, but it wasn't a big, massive endeavor to rid the driveway of that one, like some of the big ones that have fallen. And I've seen some of your comments um, when I posted pictures to my Facebook and stuff, just maybe get somebody to come check out your trees to see what ones, you know, are potential to fall and stuff. We might look into doing that because, um, yeah, it's just some of the trees in our yard are super tall and they're the ones that look like that would break and they're not the ones that break. I don't know. And those two cherry trees that are dead right in front when we first walk out, they're completely dead, but they have never fallen and they don't even barely sway. Like it's incredible. I think they're rock foundation of this property. But anyways, I'm going to end it here. I know it was a lot of just outside sort of stuff. And it was wonderful to have that pizza. And yeah, there was enough for the next day too. So that was awesome. But I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. I promise I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.